back, and then maybe you join a cult. <laughs> there was four of us that were named by Baba, who was the leader of Subud. And then my parents also did change their names, but then they changed them back. And then some of us went by different names for a while. I was Calvin for a short period of time. <laughs> my mom uh, apologized. I was like, I'm so sorry what we put you through with all those crazy people in that commune. Um, she said, let's give you a week and you can change your name to whatever you want. I was five. And I remember Calvin and Hobbes, the like, Sunday. I was like, I want to be Calvin. Also, you know, Calvin the theolo theologian. It was really important to me then. I wanted to be a Calvinist. All our animals, too, had two names. They had the name, of course, that was given to them during their um, christening, <laughs> after their past lives reading. And then there was the name that the kids would always call it behind my stepmother's back. So we had, of course, we had a black Pomeranian named King Solomon. <laughs> but we called him Monkey Chicken. <laughs> but she, my stepmother, was so pissed whenever we called him Monkey Chicken. We would get grounded or whatever, so. And then I remember we were, it was early, early, early morning, and the winters were so terrible in northern Michigan, and my stepmother let King Solomon out in the yard to relieve himself. And it was a big blizzard, and it was really, windy and snowy and blistery and, and then well, you know five minutes later we, we heard her open the door and call out to bring him in King Solomon King Solomon King Solomon nothing she's like come home King Solomon <laughs> nothing and finally she's like fuck it monkey chicken comes <laughs> <laughs> bounding back oh my god We all heard that shit and we were like, okay, it's, mo it's monkey chicken from now on. <laughs>